What's up, everybody? Welcome back to some more Farming Simulator 22. La 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 la. <laughs> I woke up without my throat hurting. Go knock on some wood. I can swallow. Um, I think I'm good. All right. For those of you who are here, you can either vote for uh, Elm Creek, which is the one with their Kubota, where we have the forestry thing that we're starting. Arlingrot, which will be catching up to our PlayStation save. And Eastern North Carolina, which is my through the years save. I was going to play Eastern North Carolina, but y'all have got just a, a minute or two. I will even do a poll. And we'll play that for a little bit. Hold on. Uh... You have two minutes. Um, so if y'all want a specific map, if you don't care, do not vote. Okay. All right. Let's see here. We got two for North Carolina. If there's not another vote time it hits the midway point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cancel it out. It looks like we're going to be playing North Carolina, so it's approaching there now. All right, North Carolina it is. So I am going to go ahead and do advanced maintenance. Actually, I tell you what, let's look and see what advanced maintenance actually is because I don't remember. This is the one I have been looking for, but it's not what I thought it was. It has to go with these things. Hey, Jessica, how you doing? How are you doing? Um, well, don't be hurting. That's not good. I hate it when people hurt. <laughs> what you up to? Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to do that. All right, North Carolina map it is. So let's go. Awesome. All right, we got that. Let's look at this and see what we've what we've got going on. I am going to take that and that. And we'll see if it works. Now, GPS does not work on this. Um, you're going to lay down. What you going to lay down for? You're leaving us already. Come on now. I did get a few new things. So 
I want to make sure I get those. Um, just trying to make sure I find everything I need it. And hopefully it'll all work. There's that. Uh, it starts with a K, but I didn't see it. There it is. So we got that. I think we're good then. If for some reason that this does not work right, if when I go into the store, it's throwing around a a vehicle, then I have to take off the advanced uh, maintenance thing or advanced wear or whatever that's called. So, <clears throat> maybe I shouldn't have la 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 because now my throat's hurting a little. <laughs> I can see whether like rain affecting your yield if it's something that's a grain, but for something that's like corn or tobacco or something like that, or even peas or beans. Oh, hush, man. <laughs> You want to know how advanced I am? I told y'all that the arm of my chair broke. Uh, the the padding split. And so I put a uh, sink sealant in it. It's a silicone-based adhesive. I put sink sealant in it, and I, I taped it up with packaging tape. So it is... We'll just call it redneck ingenuity on this thing. <laughs> uh, it doesn't bother me to put my arm on it, so I'm happy with it. I don't have to take the tape off, but it's good and solid now. So, <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's go instantly into the store. All right, so that works. Let's go to the truck. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It worked. All right, here we are at 1431. I'm going to feed my dog. This dog's name is Buck. Oh, I love that, that baby. Love that baby. Eat up, boy. All right, so we finished everything we had going on. That means that I have a little bit of time, just a little bit of time to go through and actually maybe develop some land or figure out where we're going to put the new uh, the new things here. So I might move this and put one here we can't move this over any but if i put one here it's going to be in the way of that so i didn't really want to do that which means that we've got this a few trees here there there and i don't know that i could do this the way i want it to so what I'm thinking, first off, what I'm thinking is I'm going to save the game. What I'm thinking, though, is that 
if we go let me make sure oh hey we've got jobs we can do maybe doesn't look like we can do those right now so if we take this down and we expand our area i'll expand their driveway into a square here uh since i own the land i can do that but then we'll have to level it out and by leveling it out, we'll be able to go over quite a bit, but that will also make it to where we can't get down here to this really good. So it's gonna be really strange. And I also need to go ahead and purchase that property if I'm gonna do that. You notice we got 497,000. Um, let's look and see what our loan is. Our loan is currently only 410,000. Um, we could borrow, I guess up to 500,000. Um, So if we cut these down, I just got to take them over there to the sawmill as is. It's going to take a bit to do. I didn't really want to remove these trees, but I'm thinking if I do this, it might be good. And we'll have... We can park stuff here and then just go around here. So let's go ahead... Now, I know that these trees will not all fit in there, but we'll do our best. And I might make this some sort of other center and have just the back, or I might do it to where everything is in a circle. That's what I was really wanting to do, but I don't know that I can do that. gonna walk it up the road get on this side to do it because that land is not developed yet I think I'm gonna purchase that land and clear it off if I can before nighttime Let's see here. Yeah, we can put another T 
10,000 liters in. It's actually done pretty good. I wish I could double the speed of that. That is such a slow sawmill. I guess to be able to do that, I would have to purchase the other sawmill and take other wood there and do the same thing with it. But I wanted a place I could just sell wood if I wanted. This one's going to be require me to hulk out, so I'm not going to do it just yet. Um, this one probably, yeah, I'd have to hulk out on it too. Um, We learned our lesson about these last time. Let's go ahead and check the price and purchase that land. So we want to purchase that land right there. It's going to be $27,000. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it since I've got a little bit of money right now. And now now we can go in here to painting, go to First thing we want to do is clear off a walkway for ourselves. And we'll go back for dirt, gravel. So we got that. Uh, let's leave it that way for now. I'm going to try to maneuver this where it's all flat across. And it says that land is not owned by me. But if that's flat across, we can use that as well as an entrance. So um, sculpting. And let's just try to smooth this. Alright, make it more of a heel then. And we want that. I don't want it to look like a square. That's the thing, is I don't want it looking like a square.
They need to give us tools to do this, not just the the thing like this, but actual tools. All right, let's go back to painting. Let's go down to grass. Let's make this a super large one. We'll come back and deal with that. I guess those are little trees. Dirt. Go back down. All right. Now, ain't that much nicer looking? You don't have all them damn bushes in your way. deal with that in a little bit let's go on over here and see if we can't cut this thing somewhere still a ton so if I cut a ton in half technically I should have 500 or, well, no, it's a, yeah, look, that one, that one worked. Uh, a ton would be a thousand though. And so, yeah, that was 1.7 tons. So you'd have to cut it into fours. gonna have to start making me some I was gonna cut it up to throw it in there but that actually deleted some of it so All right, I think we're going to have to hulk out on the rest. So we made some really good money, which let us get back up to 500,000 or 497,000. Uh, and that was by simply, uh, simply by, um, ouch. We're using a mod that lets us bell up straw that is made from contract fields. And we made 30,000 from the, the straw alone. And that wasn't even from the whole field. That was about, I'd say 60% of the field. So... It was a very good deal to do that. Um, the other thing that I'd done was we had, it was wheat or no, it was uh, canola. And w on our last delivery that we had, it literally... 
gave us, I think, $26,000 or $27,000 simply for the over the overflow of it, uh, the overstock of it that they didn't think they would have. So that was good. This thing still weighs enough. I can't pick it up. Now, see, that's not, it's going by kilograms, which is not pounds. So I don't know how many kilograms are in a ton, but a ton is 2,000 pounds. So I'm good mind to let some of those grow. try to load my ex excess my additional no euro doesn't have lbs they don't have pounds uh they a pound in Europe is their dollar. We have dollars, they have pounds. We have um, we have pounds, they have kilograms. 2.1 tons. Let's cut her right there. One point four tons. Oh, nice. All right. I like this too because it's actually a decent log. So do y'all like the logging? Do y'all like the farming the best? Or what do y'all like about this game the most? What do y'all want to see me do the most? Let's uh, sell. Oh, it, it took the little limbs. Good.
Don't put me to sleep. I can, I sit here. It, it causes me insomnia. Everything puts you to sleep. You just sleepy boy. <laughs> I think last night not using my voice really helped. Although it was sore today when I went to bed, but not when I woke up. Let's we'll take whatever we can. That is good. It's uh, all sitting over there and ready to go. That's an eight meter pine. These are just really small. This is huge. Right. Let's go ahead and start working here. Painting. We're going to go with just grass. Okay, we got rid of that.
Well, I appreciate this map, and I, I mean, I love this map. By saying that, I gotta say as well, though, that I honestly do not like how they've done the woods to where the brush is all around like that. It's not really like that here, so... Um, I mean, it's somewhat like that, maybe, but... So we actually got some new buildings as well. Um, I don't know how much they will be. They're more of the easy, easy sheds like this one. But um, I don't know where they're actually going to be put in. Well, I don't know where they're located. I guess right here. Oh, man. Wow. It's huge. Now, see, that's basically the same one, and it's twice as much. So that's the original one. Well, almost. Okay. I'm okay, bad. I have my throat is hurting just a, ever so slightly, but not a whole lot. It's not to the point that it's it's really bothering me. Could it be? that what we're doing here is actually taking out stuff where there are tree roots and that's what's causing these holes
maybe we cut them down too low and we're just not seeing them now and that's what's going on <laughs> you can have the front room it's only 130 in there in the summer but I warn you You wouldn't like what was in there. <laughs> Alright, I have to Superman this one out of the way. Because when I decide to start beating and banging on stuff and... Yeah, well, like I said, that room has, it gets up to about 130. That's what it is. It's trees. I know how to do it now. It, now, I'll tell you, it used not to be like that. I don't know what caused it to start being like that because I used to stay in that room. That was my room uh, growing up. And I literally have no clue what caused it to actually be like that. So we're going to... Is there, is there something there? All right, hold on. Let's take that down. Let's go down with it right there. That one doesn't do it, so if there was a tree there, I don't know how to remove it. But if you look, there's more there, too. You, well, you can see it doing it there, so what we're going to do is we're going to target that and then why does it do this it
my aunt would be like, if if it's green tea, she'd say hell no. <laughs> if it's uh My mama would not like green tea either, probably. Would you, mama? He's the one talking about green tea the other day. All right. We're making money somehow, and I don't know how. This right here, I am not sure what we're going to do with this, but I think what we will end up doing is placing something directly over it. Ugh, raspberry tea. Disgusting. Production, we want a greenhouse. Should we set greenhouses to where they are in this orientation and just set them side by side and then have them basically six of them? Or should we have some that are in this orientation? Uh, if we put them here... We can get three of them there and then have three on this side. We can have one, two, and we can put a third one about right there. I am in the way. That's going to have to be smoothed out as well. Um, I, what I'm using that for is in case we need like a, a water thing going down there or something, but I don't think it's going to work that way. Now, these greenhouses are $10,000 a piece. So we're going to spend some money to make these, but I have to start. I have to start with them uh, on top of this one. One, two... Three.
right. Should we put down asphalt or concrete? We've got concrete on the other one. So I'm thinking concrete. Production greenhouse. What is it that it's overlapping? That other trees? All right. We got to get rid of big boy here. <laughs> Hulk that thing out of there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that's called? Putting some ketchup on it. I don't think that they absolutely have to have that, so. All right, let's uh, go ahead and put the concrete in. We'll use this to draw a border. to change the land here um sculpt it right quick we want to sculpt that around that way we want to smooth that out the most that we can Thank you. 
I wish I could put some stairs in there going down. That would be really nice. Hey CG, I'm doing good. How are you? Hey Nameless. How are y'all? All right, let's find the grass. All right, so we are building, we have built six new, um, greenhouses for our production. Mud pie. Oh my goodness. You don't know what you want to play. I get that a lot. <laughs> Damn. We could just make all of it uh, concrete around it, or we could make it all asphalt. I think I'd rather have it as concrete for this section. And I actually, I don't know. I think that I'm going to bring the asphalt out further. Now, I can make that back into asphalt or into concrete. It doesn't really matter. Um, if I do, I'm just going to go right across there with it, and I would just make all of this concrete as well. Uh, I think that because this is asphalt and not concrete, that the tractors will go through here. Uh, if they need a shortcut, they'll go through there. So... Um, with that being done, though, I need to start putting in some water tanks, and I'm not sure, not really sure how I want to go about this, because water tanks are 
going to be a little different for this. I actually do not want those there. I think they'll be fine without me um, doing that. So I want this to be a facility to where you can get up there to it, but I'm going to bring this over this way. All right. So. crosswalk type thing so uh yeah we would be good with that um if you look it's still got those little trees there and those little trees should not be there <laughs> So our lumber mill's doing good. We don't have anything in it. But we need to bring this down there and chop it up and all. I need to set these up. So I need to get some water tanks like I've got here, though. Um... These are 3000 apiece. Let me go out here and see how much. Is there any water at all in there? What do you need? So we have no water in here. That definitely has got to be smoothed out. I didn't see that that done that, so. There's still a dip right there, but okay. So we definitely need to put the, oh no. 
Not in front of it. I. What the heck? Oh no. Why is it like that? <sighs> well, um, what we could do is pull this one forward, but I have to have that one back where it's at. So I think that one would be fine where it's at, but we could. I don't know. That just that's not going to work for me, so... Alright, let's see. This is going to be one heck of a job here. Uh, man, let me... Well, we can use this. Ooh! Ooh, that pedal is cold! Oh my god, this first time I touched it today. That pedal's so cold! Woo! <laughs> About freezing my foot! Now I know why people wear socks when they play these games. <laughs> I have a 3D printing pen. Well, Mama, show me what you need. And I don't know that I can make it. Whatever it is, don't count on me being able to make it. I was able to fix our antenna with it, but that's a long ways off from Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go. Oh. I need a bigger water tank than what we got.
we go into where it says animals. We've got that one. That is a 2082 liter one. That's just way too small for what we're trying to do. Um, silo compaction. I don't know what that is. Uh, if we go. Man, it's going to take forever to do this. Um, we don't have the other stuff to be able to do it, so. I got to turn my fan off. It's done got cold as cold can be up in here, man. So if you watch this and it hits 90 and you press the right button, you don't have to sit there and press the other button too. All you got to do is get it filling up and then when it gets to 90, go on and tap that button. While I'm sitting here, I have to go back into landscaping right quick, and I've got to get concrete go around that. Now I have a place to turn around up here if I need to. I still have to deal with that tree. Let me fill up the other one. I hate that. I'm going to have to see if maybe I can move that one. bad it bad <laughs> this is going to take a while it takes 
15 times doing it. So mean. Man, I need a bigger tanker. What? You know, there's a mod that does this for you. I could delete all all of these. Okay. <laughs> We've got, I'm, I'm thinking, um, let's put lettuce in these two. I'll move that over here. Uh, we'll put, let's put strawberries in the first two and then we'll put, um, Well, let's put strawberries in this one, in that last one, maybe. And then we'll put tomatoes in those two and lettuce in those two. Yeah. I bought a feller buncher, but it, it wouldn't work on the trees on that map. Okay, so for this one, let's go with, let's go with strawberries on the two here. So I think both of these will be strawberries and activate should be activate. And then the third one would be lettuce on the end. So activate lettuce. Hey, that's almost full. This one's got strawberries. So that's fine. This one should have lettuce. Yep. Let's go put lettuce on this one. Get out of my greenhouse! So we want tomatoes in these two. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, they're in here. I'm doing pretty good. Let's see, is this one full now? It's at 30,000, so... what? It, all right, so this is weird. These things right here are actually giving me... 
an extra 20,000. <laughs> uh, about everything. <laughs> um, I've got, I play a lot of hunting games, uh, I'm not sure what that is. Where is this one at? Okay. Oh, that would be cool. That would be really cool. I, I've never heard of it, though. Tomorrow we're going to be playing Diablo 4 quite a bit until I can finish Season 5. I haven't even started it. I'll check it out. I love doing role play stuff. I swear I think that this is doubling what we put in there. No, that is weird. I have a Discord, it's exclamation Discord. Am I not close enough to that one that it's... That's just weird. It's not showing my overload... Overloading thing. Did I switch? Oh, that's why. It's because I was on the, the truck. I figured I would find a use for this truck. We still got four more to fill up, too. Uh, I have that disabled unless you, uh, you do the the night process it takes a, a day or two but you can That one is full. Okay, let's drive up to this one. It's taken more than I thought it would, but hey, when you don't have a lot to do, this is a way to make money, and this should triple what we're making from this stuff. So I'll have to find a place to put the extra water in, but. Let me get these full first.
Yeah, you falling asleep in a boss fight. <laughs> it's a mod. Bad. Bad. What are you doing, man? Why are you... I keep dying because you're not helping me. Why are you just standing there? Bad. Bad, sir. What the hell are you doing? Now, wake the hell up, bad. <laughs> if you are going to be asleep, get the hell out of the game, dude. I don't want to lose my spot. <laughs> I done, I got all the way to the boss with him asleep. And the boss just kept kicking their ass because he was asleep at the front door. <laughs> you better wake your butt up, Nameless. <laughs> By the way, uh, no hydrations tonight because I barely have any water left up here. I can do a few, but I barely have any water left. I need to fill up my cup now as it is. My feet are fine. I'm not on that. I don't have that down there. If I'm playing this, uh, I don't really need to check feet. Uh, if if I'm playing something that doesn't have the wheel, I have the pad up under my foot, and that's when I do it. I bring three gallons of water up here at a time. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Apparently, the way that I do this, uh, oh, man, wait a minute. Hold on, I got to get another container. I didn't think about that. Alright, production costs, y'all. They're killing me. I'm gonna move that one if I can, maybe. That that one needs to be a little bit in a different spot than the others because I need to be able to use that to get around there. So let's click on that and hit move and just slide it about right there, maybe. Alright, and now I want to see if I can't level that out just a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's see if that works. I think I'm going to have to go down the road and turn around, though. They're both the same thing right now. Well, no, I... Yeah, uh, I can... 
either one nameless it's the same thing whichever's cheapest or is that um a freebie right now i'm pulling out of the same thing so well if i do snack i have a chocolate covered cherry and a twix if i do a trick or treat i gotta reach down in the bucket and randomly pick something Snack time! There we go, baby. Thank you, thank you for my snack. One Twix. Great value cookies and caramel bar. Twix. <laughs> mm. These are really good. I thought that these were like the Milky Ways and I got them for my aunt. Oh no. Oh no, hold on. I took the arm of my chair off last night and the screw just fell out of it. I won't be able to hear y'all for a minute. I think what is going on as I hit the overload button uh, you know how the pad was busted I put some silicone glue down in the foam and glued it back together and then I used packing tape basically uh, clamp it together <laughs> so it's got clamping or it's, it's got packing tape all over it now I probably could take it off and it'd be fine I don't know but I don't want to take the chance of it so I'm just gonna leave the packing tape on it
once we're done with this, we'll start the next day. There's supposed to be something new, and I don't know if it's under mower or what it's actually under. I would actually assume it was under mower, but it said it would start a new thing. So until we get the right time, I guess. Now look, look, that says it's not 1999. What the heck? Uh, not really the time. It's 1600. All right, I don't get this. This is 20,000. This is 20,000. Twenty. Thirty. Fifty. 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 All right. Give me a second. We're going to attempt something right quick. how much water there is so if I do that one there that will give that will get rid of the hole but that also means I gotta move this so I can move it about right there and that'll be good but let's go ahead and put in let's put in the extra tanks It says 5,000 liters, but one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be, I don't know. Um, one, two. I'll have to put them down here. Three, four. I'm losing a lot of money, but it's all right. No. Nope. All right. So these will have to be on this part. I, I don't have one. I know what you're saying. I would love to, but I, I just don't have one. All right, so that fixed the problem that we had. We no longer have the thing down there. Um, it's the terraform forming in this is horrible.
That might have filled these up. I don't know. enough water from that. I'm trying to make sure that this works. So when I also fill it up at the same time that I'm putting it in there. Hey Henry, how you doing? Not much. Filling up my new uh, greenhouses, setting them up, getting everything going here. Say it for each second, it puts out 2% and it takes in 1%. Um, it's more like 3% to 1.5%, but just say it's a, two to, a 1 to 2 ratio, something like that. Um, so, but because of that, as I put that in there, it's still draining it out but it's actually instead of it just being about 2,000 that it's taken out it's actually putting in about it seems about 4,000 to 5,000 liters I, I don't know how it's doing it but I can once I I have uh, a new year that has one. We don't have a year that has one right now. Oh, oh crap! Nameless, I accidentally took your points for snack time. Uh, choose another random, anything at all, and I'll do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I did not mean to. All right, so that one is full. We just got to fill up this last one. Did what send? Yeah, I'm not close enough again. Uh, I think. Whatever it is, it's a Milky Way. Thank you, thank you. It's a trick or treat. I will have to get something for trick or treat to put a little more in there. That's only halfway full now, but um, I'm gonna get sugar-free candy to put in it. There we go. Thank you, Nameless.
I ate it, I think. On here, people giving me snacks. All right, if we look at this. We want to get that. What's your phone number? Why'd you do that? That was all we needed to do. You get mad and not love me anymore, Henry. So you changed your number. It's all my fault, I'm sorry. All right, this is, this will be good. Hopefully we'll, in, by the next, by December. Ah, okay, I got you. Got you. Mud Pie. What movies you get, bad? You get more dirty movies like you did last time? <laughs> Naughty nurses. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> was her name Nina? <laughs> he claims he don't like Nina. I've seen the first butterfly effect. Too cool for school. I don't know what that is. I've heard of it, but. In water alone, we have spent almost $40,000 setting this up, y'all. We have spent a lot on this production. talking about the movie nameless or my uh, physical therapist all right they're full they are full let's let's go we spent over gosh we when we started this we were at 400 and 60,000, 497,000 if you count if you count the uh, other thing see my tires so we're gonna do this a different way
we go. Let's step forward. Job done. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, great, great. Doing good, doing good. Okay, let's check out our production facility then. We have got some honey ready to go. I can't back a trailer, that's all. But I can drive. I can drive just fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Where did this come from? Bad. Nameless said something to you. I remember it now. So something cool is if you let the tree lay there for a month, it will lose its leaves. She wants to know what are the 12 movies.
a lot of these little ones are just going to disappear, but it's all right. I was happy to have the extra time here to do this because I've needed to to do this and get those productions going. I haven't either. Bad, they're not dirty movies, are they? <laughs> All right, we've got to get this on the ground and I'm going to go on and cut this one too I think well now oh, that one God, I hate that movie. One of the worst movies ever made. Ugh. I've never been to Malibu, but thanks, Bad. <laughs> called me a, a beach hunk. <laughs> he did. He called me the Malibu beach hunk. Not the crusty underroos. Oh no. Crap, I better stop doing that. <laughs> the rotten mater come out. I'm just jealous that y'all are not a Malibu beach chunk like me. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen uh, 
Malibu's Most Wanted with Jamie Kennedy and oh my god it's so funny absolutely hilarious <laughs> a Malibu who <laughs> Oh God. I was working at, um, during the life of the Dreamcast, I was working at, at Funko Land, which is GameStop. Be rad. <laughs> That's a great movie. I, I absolutely love Jamie Kennedy. He is very funny. And a lot of stuff where a, a lot of people that do comedy, like Will Ferrell, I just can't stand stand them. EB Games, uh, Funko Land, X Games, Electronics Boutique, Babbage's. There was another one. They were all GameStop, just different names. Mine was called Funko Land. Barnes and Noble owned all of them. And when they sold them for their freedom, uh, they all became GameStop. Back then, GameStop was pretty cool. Now, good gosh. They got some horrible practices now. I don't know how they bought it. They already owned it. <laughs> and it's funny because EB Games and Electronics Boutique were the same company before uh before they were bought by uh, Barnes and Noble. They were the two that were not owned by Barnes and Noble to start with. Babbage's was, uh, I think, maybe with them do you know the reason they had different names so you could go to a mall and the mall would have one the mall would have one of each of them and you could be like oh I don't like this this one you could say I don't like this one and then you go right down the um, right down the hallway and there's another store with a slightly different design and you're like oh hey here's another store that's cool I'll uh, I'll shop at this one the if the visual appearance was slightly different but they're the same company and if you want it one if you want it um, I got a wah wah on my pedal board. Um, <laughs> but anyway, if you wanted to go, um, like you wanted a game, and I, I've I know that they done this, but if you wanted a game, and the one right down the hallway, <laughs> mine is called a bad horsey. <laughs> A bad horsey too. <laughs> My Wawa activates if you step on it. You don't have to push down. <laughs> you just got to move it. It's got an optical pot in it. But anyway, EB Games or GameStop or Babbage's in the, all in the same mall. And the one you're at that you like shopping at doesn't have that. And they'll be like, hold on a minute. Let me call our neighboring store. Call up two doors down. Hey, you got so-and-so up there? Yeah, man. How about bringing it down to me? 
they'd walk it down from the store two hours down. There you go. <laughs> okay, that's that's doable. <laughs> I used to use a box wah and it was really good to start with and then mine I don't know what happened to it the something died on it and it, it don't wah wah anymore it barely makes noise anymore I like a very aggressive wah though I know you're talking about a store, but I'm talking about a wah pedal. Maybe, I don't know. That would delete one or both sides of it to do that probably but um i had i my first wall was a morley black fuzz black gold fuzz wall pedal and oh my god i loved that you you play black sabbath you didn't have to have distortion otherwise you could just turn on the black gold fuzz and you could play iron man all day play uh paranoid and iron man war pigs nib all the good shit <laughs> what's y'all's favorite black sabbath song mine is nib It's just that riff. That... Man, that was such a good song to play. I might have to go get my guitar and play some uh, Paranoid here. I think we've got a stockpile of wood over here, y'all. Oh, hey. Run this sideways. If I had bought that piece of land there first, it would have been so much better. Uh, I don't... I don't like Sabra Cadabra. I do not like that one. Sweet leaf, I don't like. I don't like changes either. I like Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. There are some, I think it's an album with Dio called Iron Cross or something. Everybody hated it when it first came out. I, it might have been with Dio. It might have been with somebody else. But I didn't like the fact that it wasn't Ozzy. But besides that, it was, it had some good songs on it. But I nothing I can remember. I have a tape of it somewhere. Somebody out there saying, Michael, what the hell do you mean you have a tape of it? What the hell is a tape? <laughs> You're showing your age, Michael. <laughs> I 
It was a cassette, not an eight track. Holy diver! <laughs> yeah, him. It was one of the, I think it was called Iron Cross or something was the name of the album. But yeah, that guy. Pumping some tree iron. Let's see. Oh, we took something off. We filled up something. Okay. Well, I'm going to call that a, a day on this farm. I don't have a record player anymore. I have one way back in the day, but I don't have one anymore. So what do y'all think? Would it be better to try to just back up the, the tank right here? Or should I leave it over here where it's at? If I back it up over there, I can actually park something else here. Maybe I, I know what you meant. All right. Well, I think that we're done for today, though, on like in game day. I I know nameless. I was just talking. Oh man, we still got a tree laying here. You got a record player now. I wouldn't mind having a record player. Oh yeah. Now, uh, Phantom Lake, I, the way that I done that was to sound like it was on a, a warped record player. I love that old crackly airy sound for some of my music. I could not recapture the original magic with my new setup for recording and uh, producing music, but it was just, I don't know, it, it wasn't capable like the old uh isotope vinyl was the old isotope vinyl was amazing the new one sucks all right we got a pile of wood look at that that's enough to to hold this like fill this whole thing up again it's gonna take months and months and months of that to deal with that so that stockpile is just gonna have to lay there i guess i wish i could add a generator to it to or a saw to help do more or something okay let's uh let's look at our gear we got a gear list somewhere let's make sure everything it's got production that needs it. Is this done? Okay. Now, this biogas plant, I'm not making anything over here. Um, I will probably set it up to make slurry. Oh no, digestate. Okay. So all of that can go to digestate, but I don't know what you do with that. Um, so anyway, 
the only thing that I'm using this for that I own it for is so it will work because it would not work otherwise. Unfortunately, it just it wouldn't work. So, uh, here's a question: Should we buy? some more of the pressure washers and put them right on the inside of these there's three that we would need to do maybe that's well you could do some back here i don't want to put them on the back inside though i don't know How much diesel do I have? Field info. What the hell is that talking about? Owned by you, owned by Michael Hammond. What? Let's go on and spend another thousand dollars or spend enough to get a, another thousand liters because we'll use it. All right. It's time for the next day, so... Let me just make sure nothing has popped up that we can do. I just seen a fertilizing contract. All right, let's see. Sunflowers, sugar beets, cotton, red beet. Communal service, no. I can't do any of them. It is time to say good night. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> Great demand that the farm shop knows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm, good morning. Oh man, look at that beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's take stock. We've got uh, two crates of strawberries. We've got some honey. I'm going to leave the honey. No lettuce. We've got a crate of tomatoes. We've got two crates of strawberries here. Two crates of strawberries here. No lettuce. We do have a crate of tomatoes, another crate of tomatoes. All right, let's go ahead and figure out what's going where. So no lettuce, but we've got tomatoes and they're going to farm shop north. And then honey's going to the restaurant. I can make a thousand dollars off that, so I'll do it. Uh, farm shop south will be for the other, but since that's great demand, uh, we will go there and do that. Let's uh, go ahead and... That was tomatoes, right? Tomatoes. You're asleep right now, probably. I haven't started you up. You drive tractors for me. That's 
strawberries. All right, let's go over here and get into loading zone. That's strawberries. Tomatoes. All right, hold on. We want to do this then. So, if I'm going to use or get tomatoes, I have to make sure that I don't go across this one section. That's one reason I'm using... Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, no. What the hell just happened? What caused me to do that? If I was to walk across the wrong part, it would mess me up. So, all right, let's load this on. No, no, it wasn't another tornado. It's something about when you're holding something and you go to run, it will do that. <laughs> no. All right, let's strap them in. Razor gate. Doggies. Let's cut on some lights. Okay. Farm shop north is right up here, so... It's time to make all that money back. This place will shut down after eight and doesn't open until eight. So you're going to see my money start to go up. And what I'm going to do jump out yeah we're just gonna drop them they're going through pretty quick I don't have to yeah they're gone all right so we just made two thousand three hundred seven dollars from those tomatoes Now let's go get the strawberries. We got to take them to Farm Shop South. I will drop off a delivery at the um, delivery of honey on the way to the other thing. You know what? I'm not going to be able to do that yet, probably.
I'll run that down afterwards or in the other truck. y'all how to get the This is where the trailer actually would come in handy, is having a lot. Farm Shop South. Three thousand liters of strawberries, y'all. Okay. Strawberries. Farm Shop South. Tag that place. Probably about another two thousand dollars worth. We are a little bit heavy right here, so. Our center of gravity is not the best. I tried to do the best I could with it, but without being able to, to push them together in the middle, I would have been on one side or the other. So what we need is a sides of the truck that automatically come in and correct the sides of the truck that automatically come in and uh, change it so that you're so they basically press up to the same size they can push things in think of a, a compactor like a trash compactor something like that to where the sides come in car crush or whatever you want to call it uh, the 
they do make truck beds, some truck beds like that, to where it will actually slide whatever is in the truck bed to the center. I've seen them, but they are high dollar machines. So the reason I don't wanna bring the trailer down here if possible is this is a bad place. You cannot get the trailer in here and back out without backing it out. All right, start making that money. thousand two hundred and seventy seven dollars What'd that sign say? He said, you can't drive 55. <laughs> All right, honey, honey, honey. Honey is going to the restaurant. Oh, hey, we got some more tomatoes. I'll grab them on the way back. Do y'all prefer third person or first person? take that honey fast don't they they said we ain't giving you the chance to go back on that deal gotta get it before the cereal plant does
gonna make sure I shouldn't have any more yet, but you never know. Make sure that uh, we're going farm shop north, okay. Right, I think it's time we can cut our lights off. Alrighty. Delivery's done. Speed buck. And let's take a look and see if there's any jobs that we can do today. No, I cannot harvest those. I am so sorry. I cannot harvest them. I don't have the equipment. It's not here yet right now. Oh, we got a plow job. Okay, plow field 45. Let's check field 45 first. That sounds like an awful lot. Oh, my God. No. Oh, man. What a job that's going to be. All right. $38,000. We got to accept it. Now, 68 square meters of grass in any part of the map. It says field 47. Um, I think that's along the sides of it. So I'm going to accept that one, but I don't think it's going to let me do it. So we'll see. All right, let's get our people started up. Henry, you might get to to get out here going now. I have a bunch of different workers.
Look at there. It let me go in there. Okay. We're going to set this up for the maximum of 20 helpers, okay? We're going to go out and save our game. And go back into it. Now, you notice it says it's only six helpers. Alright, so y'all need to help me come up with names right quick. We got Tommy, Henry, William. We'll put Bo in there. And now we had Danny. I don't know what happened with Danny. He's not on there now. So uh y'all give me some names now. put Sammy on there now I don't know if this will work a hundred percent but I'm gonna try to get it working um, we got two more men names that we need Eddie, we can put Eddie on there. We need a a woman's name. Did I just take out? Well, it took out Sammy. Scroll up. Okay. Um. Put Jill in. It took out Sammy again, damn it. This is a very iffy plug in here.
some classic names. Alright, let's go here, apply settings, we'll change that, apply, change it back, apply, exit, We're, now I have to exit the game and come back in, and hopefully it'll work. If you don't exit and come back in to load it after you've saved it, it, it won't work. That's a really weird plug-in. Uh, a mod. All right, it's loading still. I'm going to step away. I'll be back in just a second. All right. I'm going to go into it. I don't know if it will work. We got them all. We got them all. It worked. Okay. So I have to feed the dog again. There you go, Buck. Okay, we got workers now. Let's go ahead and get these guys going, and then I am going to take a mower and try to mow something right quick. But oh, Okay, so let's go for MTA3. This one is in... Yeah, okay. Start it up. I don't know what it is about these tractors. They do not want to go right. It is field 43. Or 45. So <coughs> that's the big thing below my carpentry.
why it does that, I do not know. Do I want to take this one? I might use this one for something else. Uh, yeah, I'll take it down there. Might help if it was actually directly behind me. I didn't realize it wasn't. In this we call this here y'all follow us Why will it not do it? There we go. Are you ready back here? All right, let's get this convoy on the road. I love driving this tractor here. going to get down here to the field. And I will get them going, but I'm going to go around the outside and make sure everything is done upright. And then I'll probably help them plow a little bit and then uh, I'll try to center it out to where they won't run into each other and we're hopefully they'll be able to just have straight lines whatever way they're going
I don't know why I was asked this, but I want to answer it anyway. And it was something I was asked yesterday. They said, do you have to wear some sort of reflective vest and or I don't think I can go that much further this way or um, a headgear when you are mowing or doing lawn care and no uh, in the United States and no you don't I don't know if somebody had told them that they did or what was up with that but uh, no you don't have to do that this is worker Nathan Nicole was blocked by an object so she quit all right, I'm going to get him parked right about here. Look, worker Nicole run into a phone pole and left. She ran. <laughs> Damn. Done hired another one that's no good. All right, let's get this started. going to do at least four rows across the top and bottom of it so that they have some where to turn around This is a large field. Touch it right there. We're gonna lift back it up. Just a little bit on that edge ain't going to make no difference, so...
but I do need to go back and forth at least four rows or so to give them enough space to turn around. Hold on a minute. I need to check. Okay, that's... That's one of the enclosed ones. I don't need another one of those. This is a sweet potato picker. What I will do is I will try to get their alignment to where I can just plow the sides and have them start and go the opposite ways, basically. But then I can do the sides for them. they can probably do decently on this side turning around so it won't be that big of a deal on this side but I'll still make them a start and stop point Is that a tree or a phone pole? As far as I know for those communal contracts, you have to use thing that comes off the side or the back and goes over to the side I'm not sure but I think you have to We're going to try it. Yeah, 
and it seems like they just want the grass mowed. Do not. I don't think you're supposed to bell it up or anything. If I can bell it, then that would be amazing. I'll bell it up into silage bales and take it off. This is going to be interesting to see if they can actually do what they need to do here. This is a pretty straight point here, so... I think what we'll do is start them from the opposite end. Like I said, I think maybe four rows will be enough for them to turn around. Or four times of me going up and down, I should say. I watched the Super Mario Brothers movie, the animated movie last night. Y'all, that is really good. Y'all have not seen it, go watch it. That was really good. I was not expecting to like it that much. I did not get gas. And it shows.
I don't like these uh, fields that are right up on the edge of the map. I don't know why I'm missing parts. Alright, after this time across, I'm going to turn them loose. We need to start thinking about what games we're going to do for Spooktober this year, y'all. Spooktober's almost upon us. I think we're going to do Murdered Soul Suspect. There's also a game like Farming Sim that I might be able to get that is, I don't know if I can buy anything new or not, but um, it's a horror game that you're a farmer in. So that might be something that we could look into. I don't really know. Uh, I was thinking about going back and trying to do one of the, the Dark Souls games, but I'm not so sure I, I really want to. Um, the one with the rats in it, I'm not playing again. Requiem or whatever it's called. Uh, it had some parts in that that were just very unpolished, and I did not like. I, I like the story. But I know what happens in the second one, and I I don't even want to play it. So we're not going to do that. I don't have Alan Wake 2. I do have Alan Wake, but I don't think I'll play it again this year. Uh, we'll probably play it. Now, if y'all want to see Alan Wake, I recorded it. So you can go to my YouTube and check it out. It's in uh, a full HD recording of it. But um, besides that, I'm not really sure what I would want to do. So, But I do want to do Murdered Soul Suspect. I've had that game for a long time, and I've never played it. So that's something I want to do. All right, this is green, so let's go with yellow. Just letting y'all know, after I get these started, I'm gonna have to take a quick break.
So to get to this field, we actually need to to turn in right there instead of going the way that we came. I'll farm or I'll do the other stuff there. Yo! The hell? It's, it's a tiny tree. You can't even see it. Why do they drive like that? I don't understand it, y'all. I don't understand that at all. I don't know that I should do this yet. How about we park him over here on this part and I go get the mower and start using it try it out I'm not going to say it's going to work but we're going to try it yeah he's going back and forth so when he gets over here he'll be doing this number and then this one's going to be doing this number so, all right, let's go back home. I need to pick up this one, actually. Let's just go there. What the hell do you mean no field found? No field found. So we got Jane and Danny. All right, let me uh, back up here and pick up the mower. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I figured out why it's messing up on me when I'm changing gears or changing reverse and stuff. I think what's going on 
is that it's actually causing um it's caused by me not giving it enough time to auto switch no 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 do that there we go got more honey now one thing I'm going to do also I will probably move my honey production at some point and try to make a lot more of those things it's like once I get going I can make I can put up another bunch of them like for every hundred thousand dollars that we make I can buy five of those until we're just producing honey just constantly. So, so it says you can do it anywhere. But I don't know if that's true. So... What would be really nice, and I'm not going to say it's possible, but what would be really nice for games like this is that you pay for updated mechanics, but that the maps from the old games and stuff still work. That would just be really nice. access to this land. Right. So it is around these then. over a sign that's why hit another one
7%. We can do it. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not working. Even though we've mowed it, it's not working. So, yeah, just cut that off. It didn't work. Crap. Cancel that job then. Yeah. We didn't get any of it because of that. Well, crap. Uh, it's, I have to have that machine then. That at least tells me what I can do and can't do. So. We mowed. What in the world? It don't want to move right. See, we should have got quite a bit for that, but it... You have to have that machine. Oh, well. It says you have to have those two mods installed for that to work, and I do have them installed, but I can't buy them yet, so. <coughs> so when we get to December, we will advance it to 1976. Uh, each month, we're going to advance it a day or a year until... Besides February and March, it'll auto advance. But until we get a good year that has a decent um, tractor or other gear that we can use. So I've got to make a lot of money to get the stuff uh, working right. Or, well, to pay off my debts, basically. Hopefully those uh, bees and the the greenhouses will really come in handy. And we, we do have to go to the wood mill, the sawmill, and to the other place and just see what we need to do. If there's anything at the sawmill, I might pop up there and just see while I got this. But if there's anything at the sawmill... We can go on and take it up here. That sawmill is just so slow at making planks. So if y'all have, uh, if y'all are having trouble with your greenhouses producing stuff, you can go in and look and make sure it says storing if you're selling it you are actually taking a 40 percent cut off of the full price of it if you deliver it from my understanding so you want to deliver it We didn't do enough to make a difference with this, so we'll put it up here in just a minute. Usually, at least once a day or every other day, I do get some wood up here some um, planks so uh, we have mm, yes we do have something all right we got to deliver a load of planks then. I 
I hope I can make it through here without getting hung up. Woo! <laughs> that looked bad. I, I was like, oh no, I'm going to hit it, but I missed it. No, 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 no. Why do you keep doing that? We're good. We're good. Let's go down here and get into our tractor. I'm going to throw on some music on my end. All right, here we go. Uh, this is what I wanted to see earlier. The Pottinger Servo, one of them is at 90. The header is at 98% the another both of those John Deere's are at 98 98 uh the Agco 650 those are the weights they both they need to be up well that's fine um I will do service on them later I'm going to actually start I'm going to stop doing service every day and play that into the thing because you wouldn't work on your, on your car just because you drove it down the road, you know? So. They are working good, but she is doing the wrong damn thing. At least she won't hit him. Uh, she's got a lot more to do than him, though. I hear some sirens. Or as my aunt and mama say, sirens. It's a siren, mama. My mama gonna tell me to shut the hell up. You watch. If she hears me, she'll tell me to shut the hell up. They get mad as hell at me because I tell them it's a damn siren and not a siren. <laughs> I grew up thinking that a police siren was spelled C Y R I N G. 
Zaring. So I did not get the shorts completed 100%. I'm going to tell y'all about that right now, though. Um, from here on out, I'm going to do shorts a little bit at a time. I'm not going to try to make sure I've got them every day like I was. I really don't care if I do. I like that I get a lot of views on them, and I get a lot of my fans actually come to me from my shorts but it's, it's not that i just can't be bothered with them i have so much other stuff and they take up so much time i would rather make a quality video series which the video series for this that i'm going to be that i am doing the first eight nine hours of footage whatever episodes that makes is going to be kind of hectic um but with that being said, the the other um, episodes after that are going to be quite a bit different, and hopefully everything will be cool, and it it'll be a much better series at that point. I'm not going to guarantee y'all that it's going to be the highest quality up until that because I was still learning to play the game. I had no idea what I was doing when I was recording that, but I don't want to just throw all of the footage out. Um, it's got some funny moments in it, and that's why I want it on there. Uh, the first episode where I had to wreck first thing, that was why I, I went on and used all of that footage. Otherwise, I would have probably stopped the series and started it anew it's on the same map, started it anew, and done it the way I wanted to do it. So, uh, Also, though, I will say this. The phone, um, because of the way that my editors work, if y'all don't know what I do, I use uh, Vegas Pro 18 and Vegas Movie Studio 20, I think it is. Um, or 16 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, they're from the same year, but um, what happens is I can edit on... Like, I. Both of them will crash during editing a lot. And that's why I went on and I got the other one because I didn't know if it would be any better or what. And so when I, I got it, I started uh, messing with it and I discovered that Vegas Pro crashes during rendering a lot. So I render shorts on there, but the video series and stuff, like most videos, if it's a long video over two or three minutes, I will um, edit it in Vegas Pro, and then I'll pull up Movie Studio, and I'll copy everything from that file over to an identical template in Movie Studio, and I will take that and render it there because I don't have Movie Studio fail the the renders like Pro does. And so when I went to put my um, phone in episode two, y'all will see it. I, I'm talking about like you've seen it, but it's not come out yet. 
I put a phone in it, and so the phone comes up into the middle and then slides down, gets smaller and slides down in the corner. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is great. I love it. I love it. It's going to be awesome, awesome. Well, guess what? The movie studio can't do that. So that's one of the limitations. So if I'm going to do that, I have to render it via Pro. And so what I'm going to do is just have it fade in on the bottom left of the screen. And that way I don't have to do anything else. Now, the, the ones I have made up are just on the dialing screen, which is not exactly realistic. It's just I took a screenshot of my dialing screen so I would have something and put a phone number and uh, like unknown or shop or whatever on it like um job dealer or whatever it is uh, i think i put job agency for it um but i've got some some stuff that i i like to do you know and it plays into the role play element of it but um i'm trying to step up my game on this and make it a much higher production video series I really enjoy playing this a lot. All right, that section is done. That was a big part. Let's check our numbers. We're 18% there. What I did not want to happen is what's happening with her, though. She's going up and down that side. So what I'm going to do is go over to that side and go up and down that way so that she doesn't run into the woods over there. Over here is fine. Once I get this field done, we should be up close to 400,000 again at least.
20%. With all three of us, it shouldn't take nearly as long. They're doing good. And because they're going in an angle like that, it's making it easier on me as well. Because they're not running into the, the woods over here is bad. They're not a, a bad driver. <laughs> as bad of a driver. I would have rented the, the plow that they were using, or that blue plow, but, um, and it, it says that I believe it says that that plow is like a, a 300 and some horsepower one. So, um, I was not able to use it properly. Even with my bigger tractors, so. had it right. Or did I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Hold on. So yeah, I'm doing it right now. Technically, in my opinion, this is backwards. But the way that it, it works, this works better. So... What you want to do is just keep that line inside of your front wheel. And you want the plow... Uh, you want... On the game, you want the plow's um, wheel to be facing inward for the most part, but in real life, you wouldn't want that. You would actually have it facing outward because it would go in the last row, the bottom of the last row that you uh, plowed.
it's kind of a guide so but in this game it doesn't work that way so you just you got to be careful I definitely have to make as many rows going across this way as I can Trying to follow this line. It's very iffy. <laughs> oh, that game is called Plague Tale, I think. We're not playing it again. <laughs> I've already had somebody ask me if I would play it again, and no, I'm not. I cussed way too much at that game. The one scene of it, the one part of it, where you got to walk behind the, um, where you have to walk behind the uh, wagon so that the archers don't get you.
I'm trying to make it easier for them to turn around at certain spots. Alright, at this point I think we're good to maybe, no, AI's not doing good. It won't do good because of this up here so I'm going to go ahead and try to just cut this corner off I think up here is where I'm worried about so if I have that much space I don't have much to worry about with them turning around, so. are not quite how I need them to be. It needs to be more at this angle here. got an AI worker going on this one now. That is going to be AI worker Ellie, I think. Yep. All right. We'll see how that does. Uh, I will come back through here and fix whatever I messed up, but I want it to get the AI worker to go at least one row or even finish it because if I do that, it will be the proper rows that are 
predetermined in this and it should work okay I don't know but um it should work okay like I was way off with how I was uh, going there so now I don't know which way they're going to turn like they're going to turn it yep they're going to do this part so let them get um set up i'm actually no i'm going to stop them there bounced out of position it looked like once I get this part done what I'll do is set it up so that the AI can cut off that corner properly and I won't have I won't have a huge um, part where they're doing coming to an angle it should be like a final row or half row when they're done I love Donkey Kong in that uh movie he done the pick pop Whoop. <laughs> my cousin come up here one day and I was asleep he come and he sat down on my bed he said hey Michael wake up I said, what the hell are you doing in here I came to see you all right I, I got up. I, I finally got up and I went down the stairs. I didn't have on a shirt. He was saying something. I was picking with him. And I I said um said something to him. I remember what it was. And he was laughing and he said something. And so I peck popped and he go, Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> He said it just blew his mind. <laughs> that was so funny, though. <laughs> For anybody that doesn't know, you know, it's pectoral muscles. It's actually done with the shoulders, though. It's you flex from the shoulder, and it will do it. That's why a lot of people can't wrap their mind around how to do it. I, I just kind of, I guess, taught myself, but.
I might see if, if we can go somewhere good to eat tomorrow, and I don't know what time I'll be on the stream. Uh, I'm actually getting a little tired now, so I don't know what time it will be or anything. I've been thinking about our uh, Mexican restaurant. I love our Mexican restaurant. The one that we go to, oh my gosh, they got such good food. My mama hates them. I don't know why she, she don't like going there. She don't like nothing. Reminds me and mama from the, the water boy. It's the devil. <laughs> We went to the local Chinese restaurant. <laughs> she could have said that for real there. <laughs> oh my God. She was going to go wash her hands and she opened the bathroom door to go in and it, it smelled like a rotten fish market. And it made all of us gag. And she went in there to wash her hands, but Oh my gosh, it was just like, what in the world is that? Oh. All right, we got a new AI worker. One we've not had before. I'm gonna sit back and let this AI do her job rich. Mm. How you doing? <laughs> I need to watch Norbert. It's been so long since I've seen that. I love that movie. Rasputia gets on that damn water slide. She goes, how you doing? And she goes, whoosh. <laughs> goes through the sign and all of that sh oh my god it's so hilarious <laughs> oh. I love Eddie Murphy he is a genius <laughs> we watched uh Beverly Hills Cop Alex F, I think is what it's called. And he um <laughs> he told this other cop, oh you do this, you you'll get the credit for it. But when he when he um told him that, he didn't tell him that he wasn't he was gonna get him in trouble. <laughs> he got him in trouble too. I don't think it'll be so bad. I don't know why it's, it was doing that wobbling. It's still doing it a little bit. Is that the suspension causing that? It's not. If you have the indoor suspension on, certain things, certain mods won't work. I don't know why. But if you have it off, um, you set up higher. And I, I don't know why that is. But yeah, see, when... They go to do whatever their outside is. 
they turn the plow, the spade of the plow, to the outside. And that's what's weird is because technically it would not be that way. It should be so that the, the wheel is down in a groove. I guess... I guess if you're now if you're plowing it it doesn't matter if there's anything already there or not but if say you were wanting to plow something that was right up next to something I can see a reason to do it that way cuz you want to push that dirt up the other way but uh I don't know I'm going to leave them to it, though, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go back over here. Hopefully they'll finish that up a little bit quicker with three of them. I want to go back up here and do my delivery of this so uh, actually I don't have to have the tractor anymore for that we use this guy the backup lights work on this vehicle that's awesome so many of them they do not work be a little bit lazy with this today I don't know it's fine I'll do it legit Do it for me long enough to get done with this up here. Come on now. I do need to do something else right quick. All righty.
go around to the other side. Here we go. have to go back over there and do that anyway so what I'm gonna do is just leave my truck over there
I can make them all follow me, so. put on damn brakes and I where my chair just went sliding back hundred percent full on that I'm going to go ahead and just park right over here oh whoa 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 we've got what how did we get two pallets of those we didn't have any wood in here I had no clue we had that. I know why. All right, big payday. Should be about $22,000. Oh, back it up, back it up. What I want to do, I want to lift my forks.
All right. Deliver rise. Let me through this nightmare. Mechanic skill. Wrong lyrics. <laughs> Why did you complete your stuff? Who said you could be completed? Nobody said you could be completed. Let's go. Take this this bush out. Four thousand liters of furniture, baby. Oh yeah, let's go. get back over there and help them out. Why is it every time I get here to the supermarket, these idiots are always here Money, money, money. That was eleven thousand. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, I know you can do it. Without me having to get out and do this stupid shit. I 
I've got to pull this around. these darn things here. I'm going to have to do something. Oh, no. Very bad, but it's the only way to do that. I think we're going to have to come in from the opposite direction when we do this. Looks like all of my workers have knocked off for an early lunch while I'm out making deliveries. They were working so good. Attaching while something is not allowed. Okay. I'm going to catch a ride back over to here because they are all done.
Eddie and Danny are doing their thing. I'm going to get back over here. The night bad. It's not good. They'll probably both knock off again. I might have to start them up several times. What if I do? What I'll do is I'll cut it in half to where they both have a decent uh, thing they can do or might turn them around to where they're going side to side even. I don't know. I'm going to try to help them though if they'll just keep going.
I like that we have no idea what jobs will pop up. I think that's what keeps it fresh for me. Is he turning or is he going on? Alright, he's turning good. What the hell are you doing? Did he not come up that side? No, he didn't. Okay. I got you.
So it has to be three rows of this one. Better not end. I fixed it for you. It's a damn shame you got to square them off for them. <laughs> it is absolutely crazy that you got to do that. I tried my best to get them to go the proper direction and they would not go.
Yes. If I have to, what I'll do is I'll drive them to the the long end and make them go across. Or I'm after I'm done with this, I'm going to try to square off a bigger part for both of them, and then I'll work on the two smaller parts while they work on those bigger parts, and we might be able to to do it without them messing around too much. I got to make sure I put gas in this one. I thought that it wouldn't matter that much, but my gosh, I've really used gas only in this one. The other things I've not used that much gas in makes me wonder if I got a gas leak or something. Because this was a used tractor. Speaking of which, let's look. We still got that. So what happens is that because you cut a row a certain way, like I'm going this way, you notice I'm going across the green. I'm angling across that green. What's going on is when they get to the end, if, it, if there's nothing on that next green within a certain amount of space, they quit and they're they're essentially taking that off with their last pass. This one, it would be fine because when they go out the end, it has the, the groove in the right position. It's all based on, the AI is completely based on these grooves, the way that the grooves lay. Why wouldn't I be? I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm trying to um, finish up this field. I made some deliveries a minute ago and all of my workers quit. They, they went on lunch and didn't come back. <laughs> See, he got to the end there. It's where two intersect like that. So if I can get him going that direction, he might not do it.
and it's really hard to get them to do the proper orientation sometimes. I don't know what we're going to play tomorrow night. I was thinking about playing Call of the Wild or maybe Way of the Hunter. I haven't been in the mood to play Call of the Wild since they, they decided that it was not okay for people to play the game the way they wanted to play the game they bought. So. It, for some reason, um, their angles of their fields are always set up to where you're going to come to a point, though. These are plowing tractors that are good. Oh, that, that's that's a great price. Uh, whisper me or send me a message where you found it at, and I'll let you know if if that's one of the sites that I know about that's a reputable site or that it's a legit site. There's a lot of places that will sell keys say they'll sell keys and then when you pay them for them it's not something legit yeah that's a great price I got the premium version with season one and or year one and two passes for 36 so I enjoy it uh, it's got the extras that I really like so the rest of the extras I don't really care about or like the rest of the DLCs I don't care about but oh 
awesome. If you'll give me a minute, I'll see if uh, that other place has got still still got it for 36. I think it said it was until September something. So, uh, very well may be able to find it for you. I will say uh, if you go if you get the standard version and then you buy the DLC passes later it's going to cost you a lot more money than buying just the the um, one by itself or like as the entire thing uh, it was it was quite a bit more to do it that way. All right, hold on a minute. Right now, you can get the premium edition from Games Planet for $34. Let me make sure. Yeah, I will send you the link, CG. This is the same place I got it for. It's actually $2 cheaper than I got it. Uh, I sent you the, I sent it to the group, the business chat. Let me find just the base game and tell you what my best price for it is uh on my list the best price right now is 27 for the base game you'll have to let me know what site you're using so i can check them Let's check this out.
All right, thank you. She's going to stop too, you watch. So CG, what are we gonna play for Spooktober this year? You got any requests or ideas?
this is a big damn field. That's the one thing about this map that I don't like. The fields are gigantic. For my little bitty tractors that I have, it is not feasible at all. I know we're going to play some costume quests to do some trick-or-treating. We'll make sure to save it. My lights just flashed.
We should be getting close. Probably about 85% right now. Oh, sorry. I had to uh, answer my aunt. Push the button to put the damn thing down and it didn't go. game. Oh, I love Mad Max. That was a really good game. I done that on stream.
damn it. Stop, 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 stop. Why are you going the opposite way? I swear. You cannot set them to go the way that you want to. I want this to run parallel. I don't like games where they put you in these crappy races and they you got to go through checkpoints and bullshit like that. But besides that, I loved Mad Max. That was an awesome game. I just I can't stand shit like that too. See, if I wait for that to turn blue, I can do it. But if I, I start pressing the gas while it's still white and it's not turned blue, it will not go out of the lowest gear. That's why it's going so slow and stalling. I don't know why it's doing that. The other tractors, like the DLC tractors don't do that. I wouldn't have downloaded these tractors even if I'd have thought I could have had one in game for the, the through the years thing that was something decent. This is a losing battle. But I got it anyway.
job just keeping them going. We should be almost at 90% by now, at least. Granted, I know nobody would want their field plowed in so many different directions, but in a game, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Look at see what it says. Ninety two per cent.
think this is my new game genre to play because I just enjoy it. Not because I'm trying to show it to anybody or anything like that. It's just I simply am enjoying it a lot more than than the hunting stuff right now. I'm so disappointed with some of the decisions here lately on both of both Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter. Um, they completely nerfed all of the old um, ammo in Way of the Hunter when they said they weren't going to touch it. And I, I don't think they've got the update out where they're fixing it and rolling it back. The people complain so much they are rolling it back, though, to where those ammos should be the same way they were. Uh, but Call of the Wild, they nerfed the hell out of a lot of shit, and they're not going to even think about rolling it back. They're just a bunch of assholes. I swear, they... They have uh, really taken a stance on being able to play the game the way you want to play it. It's not about that anymore. It's about you basically have to play it the way they want you to now. It kind of ticked me off when they, you know, it's not the tent thing at all. It's the fact that that they seen that people were having fun. God forbid people were having fun hunting tigers and farming tigers, so they fucking nerfed it. Made tigers not respawn but once every, like, 15 to 20 minutes. That's so damn... So much bullshit. Don't... You shouldn't touch the respawns. If people are enjoying it, let them enjoy it. So many people paid to play the game that way. They didn't pay to play to where you have to wait and wait and wait. They want it to do it that way. And that's why they bought the game. So why are you going to alienate those people? It makes no sense to me why you would do that to your fan base. I just don't understand why you would do that to people that that are the ones that are buying it the most, you know. That's what was so great about Call of the Wild was you could play it however you wanted to. And they did not restrict you to a certain style or penalize you. And they started penalizing you with the stupid damn pheasants with the grounded bullshit I tell you now people around here don't give a damn if a bird's on the freaking ground or in the air or not if you hungry and you want to eat it you're going to shoot that some bitch bird right there at wherever it's at you're going to shoot that damn thing and eat it did she stop
96. I think instead of playing around with that, I'm going to start cutting out a bigger chunk and working on that. That should last her until the contract is done. Let's go find this guy and make sure he's got a big old end in there that he can uh, run between as well. Ninety-seven percent, so we're good. He's almost. Let me run up here and grab it before he cuts off. This has been a long job. It's taken almost four hours already. It's taken longer than that. Well, no, it's not. Because I, I did play the other one a little bit more. Or I played um before this day, so... Oh yeah, we got it.
I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I am, I really, really want expeditions. Um, really, really want expeditions. But I don't quite have the extra money if I get Farm Sim 25. So. I also wanted Dragon Age, but I think I'm going to wait on Dragon Age until it comes down in price. And I want to see if there's a big difference in PlayStation and PC again, like it usually is between console and PC for that game. I love Dragon Age. It's one of my favorite games of all time. But you got, with EA being involved, it pays to wait for their stuff. I would like some of the the uh, the per, what pre-purchase stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna pre-purchase it. I do want to pre-purchase um, Farm Sim 25 though. Yeah, I, I absolutely loved it. I've got it on... I have it on PS3. Uh, Dragon Age 1 I have on PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. I actually bought it twice on PC. Well, no, I, I got it for free from EA's uh, giveaway one time. And then the other... Um, the other time I actually bought the complete pack. So for Dragon Age 2, I have it on PlayStation and Xbox and on uh, on PC as well. I have Inquisition on PS4 and on uh, PC. Ninety nine percent. We're about to finish it, so as soon as it pops up and says it's done, I'm waiting to cancel it or to collect on it so they can stop. Come on, y'all. I know y'all got it in you. Come on. You can finish it. <laughs> you can finish it. These are not all that, like, none of them have a whole lot of money. That's got the most, but they're still better than the others, uh, better than nothing. I can't wait until I can unlock one of those mowers for it.
Got to get behind them, apparently. Maybe you have to be aiming at their hitch or something. There we go. Oh man, my pipe done turned silver. I done wore off the black off of it. Dang. Woo! So, once my day here is done, I think I'm going to boot up uh, mud tires or mud runner and play that a little bit. Oh, shoot! Wait, 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 wait. Please don't get blocked. I tore the hell out of that thing over there. <laughs> This is not how roads in North Carolina are, by the way. <laughs> I don't know who makes this. I kind of think that they're not from North Carolina because there's some things that are obviously wrong. <laughs> Speed limit signs are right. The uh, a lot of the a lot of details are right, but the roads are completely wrong. The way that they have them mouthing out and stuff. The license plate is right, but there yeah, there's so much that it's just weird and not right. Don't you run into me. The old tractor's got a workout today. Yep cotton if i had this stuff to do it i would love to harvest it for them i just don't have the stuff it is so expensive they look like it they look like white berries to start with there's another one it was well, red berries to start with and then it turns into like a white looking berry and then it gradually puffs up into a cotton ball I'm honestly surprised that they put cotton in the game because some people are just freaking idiots complain about about a plant
427,000. We have made, even though we spent a lot, we have made quite a quite a good amount of money. Gotta wash everything at least. These poor tractors, I have really used them a lot. I don't know why in this game it costs so much to repaint something. Welcome back. What you got good to drink? I want me a, a yoo <laughs> I haven't had a yoo in years. A few years now, I think. I have a problem. I don't know if y'all realize this, but I have an open space here. And I have an open space over here. Oh my. This is lawn care. Um, this is harvesting and fertilization right now. 
This is the, the plowing and stuff like that. You know, I don't think I have ever had ocean spray anything. I don't know, maybe, but uh, I don't like cranberry stuff, so. All right, let's see here. Let's check out our productions. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a whole lot going on right now besides furniture we do have some that we can do let's see wood chips it'll automatically sell um it just sold it i think actually honey tomatoes so lettuce we've got two things of strawberry we got two things of That's not enough. Um, well. All right, let's do a thing of deliveries. But this time, we're going to change it up how we do it, I think. Well, I don't know. Let's... Let's take notice of what we have. So we do have strawberries. I've got some lettuce. I got some honey. All right. I'll just make several trips if I need to. So let's make sure. All right, these are strawberries. Farm shop north. Lettuce the restaurant. So let's just take this up here. sign right here. You can't see this. Alright, our next one is going to be the restaurant then honey is also going to the restaurant so we can take both of those oh that's what i don't like about this truck it it's like it starts slow and then suddenly it it starts going forward really fast Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen the fence. That's what I'm saying. It it literally will jump ahead. It's like just suddenly it goes. Let's 
since we're doing that at the same time. You're not on the open road. You got to really watch how far you put your foot on the pedal. CG, if you need to set up like a, on a tablet or a uh, phone or something, if you need to set up a dashboard with something like uh, Touch Portal, just let me know. You can have a free Touch Portal, by the way, if you want to just make a really small dashboard. But let me know, and I'll I can explain how you do it, or if you if you buy the full version i can just send you i can do it and then just send it to you if you ever want it to do that and that's how i control a lot of the stuff here i am going to pull over here and check something right quick All right. Well, my tractor I was looking at is gone. Uh, I need to look at miscellaneous. That's all we've got. I think, I'm not sure, but I th think we need to look at pallets. Okay, we got that. I don't know where to look for them at. We got access to two wheel loaders. We have the front loader. I don't have that. We do have the forklift. Yes. Yes. Okay. I hate that this is like this, but that it took the other one, but we are going to buy two of these. This is a... That just 
Just let me know if you need any help, okay? That is probably going to be the best thing I could have done there. <laughs> Oh man. All right. You know what? I think we just made a major mistake. could be wrong, but I think we may have made a major mistake. Forks have to be on the ground when you cut it off. I've not been to the shop in a few days now. It'll be nice go pick up something get some power jacks I just hope that I'm able to actually use them I don't know that I'll be able to I love my old trucks, though. I don't think they'll go up the ramp on the back of this thing on my low loader. <laughs> it, it's separated, so tires can go up it, but it needs to be a flat across all the way. I'm, I'm going to try, but I hope that I'm wrong. That's my problem is usually I'm not wrong about much. <laughs> I am wrong sometimes. I'll, I'll admit. Here's the thing, though. With a power jack, you walk behind it, you don't. Button, button, woo! Oh! Damn it! Oh!
they won't go up it anyway, but I'm still going to use them. I know a little bit about these things now. Those things are heavy. It, it's barely letting me pull. We will at least deliver them to the thing. I wish they were Big Joes. I, I didn't want to have to buy an, like a, another forklift because those son of bitches are expensive. still I guess still take my forklift with me we have something here though Let's see how well these work done it damn this thing is sensitive going to fall off of this thing you watch There is a very good use for this still. And 
I I made it orange because my pallet jack was orange. Its name was Mr. Squeaky. just have to pretend that we put them up there I guess I was hoping that we had the pallet jacks uh, the regular pallet jacks I did install them but I don't see them so the power jack is the best thing then I'm happy it was there We're going to, we can either go to the next day and advance to, uh, like we can advance to December 1st and change the year to 1976, or we can switch out and play something else. It's up to y'all. Let me know though. Y'all want me to continue playing this for a little bit more? I'm happy to, cause I really enjoy it a lot. some more money. thousand dollars that'll pay for the power jacks so I'm happy with that they're paid for and reimbursed now these will make using the forklift easier as well because what you can do is put the stuff up there with the forklift but you can move them away with the other thing so let me deliver that you can move them where they need to be I wish they had a big Joe that would be so nice to have a, a big Joe as a walk behind forklift, if y'all don't know. I like big Joes better than these. We moving now, man. Woo! We moving now, baby.
What I like about the pallet jacks is they automatically go where they need to, though. I think I want to advance to the next year. Don't stop there. Why are you stopping? I'm trying to turn there. If I can ever get forks from my wheel loader, I'll move one of them or I'll move it to another location. Oh. Let's go get some gas. I think that's going to be it for the November 2nd, though. Woo! Starting to get cold up in here, y'all. I know it's supposed to be 53 outside, but I still have my air conditioner on. <laughs> well, we need to just back up anyway, so. All right, let's check our productions. This says we have some more lettuce. Where do we have lettuce at? Strawberries, lettuce. We don't have any lettuce. Oh, I know why. I know why. It's between all production points. All right, Buck. There you go, buddy. Sleep till the next day. Welcome to December 1976. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, let's look and first check. There's no contracts available at the moment. It is December now. All right.
here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here to, uh, let me find how to do it. Okay, so we want I am at a loss because I don't remember what the hell I was going to do. Uh, I'm going to take stock right quick. Let's get those. I think I need a power jack here as well. Um, should we buy a power jack here and then just use the forklift? Oh my god, we got so much stuff. And then just use the forklift, or should I just continue lifting them all by hand? We've really got a lot of stuff here today, so... Uh... Good morning, doggy. Alright, let's look at contracts again. There are no contracts available. Um, that's not good to not have any contracts available. That's really kind of weird. So let me um It has to be in here. Yeah, we're going to All right. We're going to go forward one year until it pops up and says that there's something new. So we went to 1976, nothing new. 1977, nothing new. Four new vehicles, 1978. All right. That doesn't mean that we're going to get anything. It just means that there's something new available. So we're going to save the game. Let's go ahead and look. Uh, I think I am going to go ahead and buy a forklift or a, a power jack. Um, we could have bought that. I don't have the extra money for it. Um, Oh, wait a minute. This is a different one.
Hmm. We got some new ones. And then we've got this thing. This is 150 horsepower. So only those can go up to 203. That's that's one of the others uh, like the other one, but it doesn't go up higher. It only goes to a 40, a 4440. Whereas these will go up to, they start as a 4640 and will go up to a 4840. So we can, for the first time, we have the opportunity to get something that's a little bit different. This is a, a Zetor crystal. Um, I don't think it's something that we should buy. It would be 62,000. So it said four new vehicles. One, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to take a break and I'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> 